<sighs> wow, Happy, that was amazing. I thought the whole no more skinny cam bullshit was just a saying. I guess not. Honey, I'm home. Quick, Happy, hide. Hey, babe. Hi, honey. Uh, how's work? It was good. Why are you still in bed? I'm just reading. With a happy dad? I mean, it's Friday, right? Yeah, you're right. Thank God, honestly. We still doing dinner later? Uh-huh. Okay, good, I'm starving. Babe, where'd you get this palette of happy dad? These aren't even bad. 100 calories, two grams of carbs? It's almost like cheating. <laughs> oh, I can see why you like these. All right, we got a uh, we got a dope pod today. We got the man. This guy's absolutely blowing up right now, John Summit. What's up? Thanks for having F me. Man. Flew straight from Miami here to OC to do this pod, and then yeah, what? Sure. You're straight to Vegas. Yep. Tonight. Yep. Tonight, and then this weekend I got everything. So I'm doing Toronto, Chicago. Where at in so, Toronto? Uh, Toronto. It's like on some island called Electric Island. Oh, okay. That's I'm from Toronto. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 that's dope. Yep. We met in Gecko about like what two months ago, maybe or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I then moved to Miami. You were having dinner with Dave Grutman. Yep. And then he introduced us, and he said, "You guys got to get John, John Summit on the pod. I've literally never seen anything like his come up yeah, and what's going on right shout now." Shout out, Dave. So I literally yeah. told him, "I'm like, bro, I'm down." Like we said, we're down. We added him yeah, in the group yeah, yeah. chat. I'm not even lying. I think he called me. 10 times in like the next 24 hours <laughs> i wake up like 6 30 a.m he's calling me he's yeah. like yo you got to do this pod bro i'm like dude i already told like we're already setting it up like yeah. we're in a group chat we're with his assistant we're doing it yeah. calls me like two hours later he's like bro you got to do this trust me i'm like bro we're locking it in like we got this but how cool is that that like i feel like every like for someone like dave to be like you know saying he's never seen anything like yeah, yeah, yeah. Your come up. It's kind of wild. Like I did not expect it whatsoever. It kind of happened overnight for me. But um, it's kind of sick that everyone's pushing me and stuff because I've been just doing my own thing for like six years now, and these past couple years have been fucking nuts. What What do you mean when you say overnight? Like it didn't actually happen overnight, but when it like the shows just went from you know a thousand people, and then like the next month ten thousand people, and then. I just did EDC last month, and that was like 100,000 people on my set. So, And before all this, you were a CPA, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah an accountant. Desk job in Chicago. It that's fucking crazy. Sucked. Yeah. So you went, to, you went to U of I? Yep. University of Illinois. What, yeah. was it, what was it like there? It was sweet. You know, I did all the college bars, and I was in a fraternity and all that. And so I did all <laughs> the shitty frat parties. So I was a terrible DJ back then. But you were still DJing the frat parties then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then I moved to Chicago, started doing like the underground parties there and whatever. And then. What are those? What's an underground Chicago party? It's like all the parties where you're like, you can't like legally do parties, I guess. So like warehouses and shit like that. Fuck. I gotta so, yeah, go to one of those. Yeah. Those exactly, are different yeah. types. No, you yeah, can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't get into the underground party yeah. scene, bro. <laughs> you're already, you're already a DJ. <laughs> I don't get, don't get, <laughs> don't get too into the no, fucking yeah. house dance music scene. Yeah. yeah it's probably not good It's a me. rabbit hole, man. It's sick though. So where does it <laughs> elevate from the underground Chicago parties? So then you like do the clubs and stuff, but it was mostly because like I couldn't get booked at the clubs because like no one knew who I was and stuff. So it's like the DIY parties and shit like that. When, when does it kind of like change where you start to get like booked? Um, well, so releasing music and stuff, and then your music just starts to blow up. So my first song that like really blew up was called Deep End, which was like during COVID. You know, it was like just like a popular fucking TikTok sample that I found on the internet, which I did not expect to blow up whatsoever. And then from there, I started doing all like the illegal kind of parties in Florida during COVID because that was the spot to be. 
and then from there, it just all started. So were you, you were partying a lot during COVID too? Oh yeah. That's yeah. why I live in Miami. That's where I got all my friends because I was there every single weekend. We were doing that too. We were getting so much shit. We almost yeah. got like our YouTube channel deleted. <laughs> like they sent us like an email and said like, really? they said it was like off platform responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you, you weren't yeah. like too far away from each other or something. No, we were just fucking like, we were, we just had to keep our business going. Yeah, so exactly, we were traveling, exactly. partying. That's how it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I'm not gonna like stop playing music. I mean, that's what I do every weekend. Yeah, so. you literally have no choice. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. sort of the TikTok sound that you use or you sampled, that's what really helped get your name going. Like well, that? kind of, cause then I got signed to a big label called Defecte that's in the UK. And then from there, like kind of like that put like my name out there. And mm -hmm. then from there, I released a new song like every three weeks for like two years straight. Yeah. And yeah. then it was just. Yeah, and where crazy, do you drop? Where, where are you dropping like the tracks on at that time? Like all platforms? All platforms. All yeah, platforms. so I was already signed to labels like starting from 2016. So okay. I've been around for a minute, but all it takes is like that one big break in this, and then it's kind of nonstop. Well, at that time, were you like, was that like your strategy to drop a lot of shit, or were yeah, you just kind of yeah, fucking yeah, around? Yeah, it's a shotgun approach. Because I mean, I mean, I'm sure it's kind of the same for you guys. When you yeah. first start out, it's like you do everything. Go viral and anything. once. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then once you go viral once. And then it's like, oh shit, we actually have followers. Yeah. And then you just keep, keep going. But then the pressure's on, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, so hey, then hey. you, when did Better Than This come out? So Better Than This, that was like the year after that. So that was, and that was like during the summer. And that was like, especially because everything was open then and all the festivals started. So that was like my one feel good track, you know? Yeah. I, I'm trying to learn more about the DJ scene, but it yeah, seems yeah. like there's two types like there's djs that really just make their own songs mm -hmm. and then people that play other people's music so i would say like in the touring side of things everyone makes their own music but then i still play other people's music too and i do edits and everything and then the djs just other people people like play other people's songs those are the djs you go to like the clubs and like kind of like not the ones you see headlining festivals and all yeah that yeah stuff. So to be the headliner, you got to be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah making yeah, your own yeah. shit. But I feel like dogs. there's a lot of DJs now that aren't making their own shit that will still do like Vegas pool parties and stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah, no, yeah. or am I wrong? No, no, you're right. So there's still those, but usually they like got their name big somehow. Like I don't know, I'm not naming names or whatever. But if you had like a big hit back in 2013, and then you can still be huge now because of that. Yeah, that's that's something I actually want to ask you because now yeah, yeah all I want to talk about fucking that. Fucking influencers, they get yep. this following. Yeah, they just become fucking DJs and they're performing the biggest parties. But exactly, like, exactly. Because it's just because they can sell tickets. But does that is that like insulting to DJs uh, that have grinded and shit? I don't know. They get a lot of shit. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, they can't, you can't really respect somebody who like no, yeah. has a million followers. Decides I'm gonna DJ one day and then they're headlining or not headlining. But yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're, they're doing the same festival where it's like. I mean, I don't mind it like too much myself because it's not like a threat to me at all or whatever. But like. As long as they're throwing a good fucking party, I guess that's all that matters, right? Yeah. But yeah, you're not going to see them, like, I guess, doing huge sold-out shows at places. That's like, I, honestly, I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. I don't know if you're I, selling I, tickets, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I could last a whole setup there. Yeah, yeah, no, I can, I can teach you. Ah, fuck. Well, I'll do that all day. Yeah, I'll yeah, take you up yeah, on that. Yeah. Has there ever, ever been a time when, like... Cause you say you party back there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Where like you're maybe an hour and a half into your set and you're like, well, I'm getting a little too like. Uh, when I'm on like hour like seven of my set, that's how I feel. Or is it? Or is it the more hammered? Fucking jump change, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it the more hammered you get, the better, or does it like start to affect your performance? I think that until I watch the videos afterwards and I'm like, I was way too trash throwing that. But like when you're on the decks, you think you're good. I don't know. I call it like the hot tub effect, where it's like. You know, if when you're drinking in the hot tub and you're there for like three hours, you don't feel drunk at all. Yeah. And then when you get out, you're like, I'm hammered. That's how <laughs> yeah. I am in the DJ decks where I'm like, I'm perfect. And then I leave and I like, my manager has to help me kind of walk down the steps. Has, has there ever <laughs> been a time that you've looked back? What's and, up? Has, has there ever been a time that you've looked back at like a video or some shit and be like, damn, I was actually trash. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Especially if I go to some place for an after party and they start filming me and then I just see it the next day on TikTok and they're like, the anxiety I get, I'm like, well, I'm such a fucking but, idiot. But that's kind of like become like, that's like similar to us too. It's like kind of like become a part of your brand exactly. a little bit, right? Like, the partying I, stuff. Yeah, like I that, feel like we can get away with it. That's going like, to bang on like your TikTok and shit, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And like, I, I, it's good that it is part of my brand because then it's like, I feel like I can get away with anything when it comes to that. Versus like if you're like a very like clean, clean cut, cut guy. yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then one bad thing, you're yeah, exactly. Fucked, right? And then you're like, right, because I mean, I'm, I don't plan on being a fucking politician one day or anything. Yeah. So I think I'm all right. Hundred yeah. percent. How do you choose like your sets? 
Yeah. I'm going to give you, I had an experience at a club in Vegas. Okay. And this is one of those influencer, yeah, 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 like yeah. now DJs. Okay. I'm yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. my friend and I'm like, who <laughs> the say. fuck is on the ox right now? Like the, yeah, the vibe yeah. in the club is dead. Yeah. Oh, no so, one, so, oh, so they're bad too. <laughs> I was just like, yo, this is like, what is this? Yeah. yeah no yeah, one's yeah, having yeah. a good time. Yeah. So how do you know what set you're going to go with? Like, do you read um, the crowd or do you well, have a Well, so I was telling you before we started this that in Vegas, at first, I didn't like it at all. Cause like I wasn't as big, but now that everyone knows my music and stuff, then and so oh, I, I'm playing my own music. I'm mm -hmm. basically doing my festival sets and like a bunch of edits and stuff. Oh, I mean, I, I just figure too, cause it's like EDC, yeah, completely yeah, yeah. different vibe. EDC, you have all the kids with like all the rave gears or in the tutus and all that shit. Like they love it all. But then like in Vegas, you know, it's like bachelorette parties and shit. How did, <laughs> how did you? How does it work? Like the business of like getting booked. Like how? Yeah. How does like? A DJ like raise their booking fee and how do how do clubs go about like how do you negotiate your price? Uh so I have agents for that. Yeah. But it's supply and demand. And um yeah, the money I'm making now is obviously a lot different than like the year before. And like I mean in 2020, before 2020, I was a full-time DJ, I quit accounting like 2019. I was making like 750 a gig total. Like that'd be a good night for me. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. And which I would say that's like the typical DJ, but you know, if I'm selling 10,000 tickets at, you know, a hundred dollars each, then you kind of do the math. Your fee like the same for every kind of venue or does it change kind like of. Vegas well, it's, to a so festival? It's, it's like less in Europe than America right now. Cause obviously America is fucking massive. And then Vegas or something can be pretty high. Cause like last time I played Vegas, the guy behind me, he spent 250 K on his table and he was Shit. buying $75,000 bottles of aces of spades, which I think you can buy like at Benny's for 750 bucks. That's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't realize like that's what he had. And then so he hands me the bottle. He's like, yo, like pour it like to this girl. And I'm like, whatever. So I just started pouring it in my mouth. Like I didn't hear him because I was DJing. I like sprayed like half the bottle because then I started spraying it in the crowd. Oh yeah. And then the the guy who like part of the club, he's like, yo, he just paid 75K for that bottle. And I'm like, Fuck. So is that that's <laughs> well, what that's what Sammy told me too, though. Yeah. It's like is part of the business for these venues, yeah. Whoever, whatever DJ is gonna bring the biggest spenders, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's and that can like like so a club might be like, yo, John Summit brings like big spenders every time, yeah, yeah, yeah and that's yeah, yeah. why we can like afford exactly, to charge. Exactly, like, do they don't price. care about ticket sales there. Versus like when that's I play so like a huge venue, like like say like Brooklyn Mirage in New York, it's more about tickets because that's like that's how they get their money. That's so crazy. To me. Was the guy that's pissed when you? Did that with the bottle? Probably not at that point. Uh, I think that guy was just so dumb loaded. He thought it was like, he was videotaping me. He's like, John, spring my bottle. So yeah. I think he was happy for that. But you can piss off the wrong people. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. It's a fuck ton of money. Yeah. <laughs> Do you notice, because we talked earlier about how the scariest place in the world is space for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. But do you ever like <laughs> look in the crowd and you're just like, yeah. that guy's fucking on Pluto right now. Oh yeah, the first like so I just played space last week, and the first three hours is this guy with the sunglasses on, <laughs> munching like he's like a fucking llama eating grass, and it was kind of <laughs> tweaking me out a little bit. Yeah, that's but funny. uh yeah, to last to noon during his set, I'd say people are taking a lot of uh performance enhancers yeah. to get there. You <laughs> have to. You have to. Yeah, you have to. I just wonder like when you're up there if you're like looking at the crowd and noticing like oh, what's yeah, going no, on it's, out it's, there. It's the best. It's the best. Yeah. So for people that don't know space, like what what is space? Obviously everyone in Miami yeah, yeah, knows. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah. So the background of that club is that it's been like an institution since the 90s. And it's kind of like Europe meets America. An institution? A mental institution yeah, pretty much? Basically. <laughs> and uh, so like all the European DJ and stuff like that. If you know like Solomon, Marco Crow, like you know Black Coffee, they're kind of legends for going super long in their sets. And um, it's like one of the only places that has a 24-hour liquor license. So I get on at 6 a.m. and I'll play to like 4 p.m. there. And yeah, then yeah. and then the crowd is slam packed the entire time. Okay, so walk us through that. You go on at 6 a.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know you're performing at Space. Yeah, yeah. What's your like process before that? Yeah. My, my process is that. I legit actually like sleep up until so I go to bed at like 8 p.m. wake up at four have a couple shots of espresso the biggest I think like like the worst move you can do in Miami is pregame before going out because even when you know you go out oh, and then because then I still do an after party afterwards too. yeah so <laughs> wait you'll do an after party after space yeah so isn't but is that like a pregame for the next night yeah, like so that'll, that'll, go, that'll go through the next night. So yeah, I just did that. What day is it say? Thursday? Yeah. I did that Saturday. And we kept it going to my place till like 8 p.m. on Monday. 
<laughs> yeah, it's weirder than an after party's at like 4 p.m. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's kind of fucked. <laughs> Miami. You, you guys got to go next time. Oh, we should. This is tough for us. We should yeah. go to space. We we should like do like bring in the camera into space and like no. do that. Like go to bed at 8 p.m. Yeah. Wake up. Yeah, no, no, eat no. Some do eggs. it professionally. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't go start that night and then make it. Through oh no, no, no! Don't be, don't start that night. No, you'll no. say that, but then you'll do that. I'll you'll do be like, that. oh, I'm yeah, gonna yeah, go yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. That'll be a horror film. Bro. Well, I, I went to I went to Gecko the night before at 7 p.m. Then that's when Dave gets giving me so much shit. He goes, "Who the fuck eats at seven? You're gonna be eating with like the bar staff." Yeah. But I'm like, because I eat and then I legit go to bed afterwards. What What's some of your like biggest? I hate to use this word, but are like. Just it. people are always coming in the DJ booth. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Things that piss you off that anybody. Yeah, knows. things Pet that piss me off. Well, I hate when uh, well, girls are just fucking annoying because they're always you know trying to get the videos and they're always like touching me and shit, which I hate. Which is why I got like a tour manager and security to make sure that doesn't happen. But I do like to have like a whole on party in the booth. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's uh, it's when well I guess when girls try touching the decks. So that happened last Saturday. It's like during one of my biggest build ups, one of my tracks, it was like right before it was about to drop, and she like pressed stop on it. And, no. she, and then she goes, woo. And I was and like, the music stopped? Yeah, the music stopped. And there's Holy a video God. of it. I look at her, I was like, oh my God, I was so pissed. But yeah, no one cared. Though. Did she know what she just did? No, because I think she was just so, so like lit that she had no idea. Fuck, bro. <laughs> That's brutal. Yeah, yeah. But then, well, when I'm playing like big festivals, I'm playing Coachella, like no one's on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I feel like that is like the fun part of a house party, though, is that like it is a little sloppy and yeah, people fuck like no one gives a fuck. What do you what do you know. prefer? Like, what's your favorite uh, place to? My I uh, I mean I love house parties. And I love after parties just because there's no rules. How but, often um, are you booked for house parties as opposed to? That's that's more like like I, I usually I don't even get paid for them. That's more like just showing up for it's like more, a friend. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. If it's if it's like a private party for like. A wealthy client or something like. Of course, I'm getting paid, but yeah, I try not to do that too much because I play like five to six shows a week now. That's probably so. the only way we could get like chicks to this house. <laughs> you, you, you gotta perform here, bro. Let's make it happen, bro. <laughs> I know we might just post something after this. What do we got? Five yeah. hours to yeah, kill. Yeah, yeah. Nah. We have a little. Just I get something turned. I mean, I can push my flight back again. <laughs> yeah, I'm, telling everyone, I'm telling everyone I'm going out with you tonight in LA. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Do you have like... This is how it all starts, man. I yeah, knew this right? pod right after a bendy too. We yeah, just did three days like, in New York. So I was like, oh, are we, is this going to turn into a send again? <laughs> <laughs> but this makes the best content too. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. <laughs> Do you have... Because every single time, like when we go to yeah. XS a lot, yeah, yeah. behind Contact. the DJ booth, there's that whole private section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does Gonna someone just bring chicks bed. in there or do you pick them or? Um, be honest, have you ever looked in the crowd and been like, yo, that girl's beautiful. We need to get her back. And oh, a thousand percent. Yeah, that's, you know, I'm a tour manager. Why it's the like fuck, if they're yeah, having a good time. Why the fuck would he not do that? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I know. Exactly. But yeah. No, I'm like dudes only. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but usually there's like, I know, I know a lot of people in, uh. There's every city I go to, I know like, normally know, I have a good squad. So yeah. What what like, would you say it is about like kind of like the movement that you have right now? Like why do you think why do you think in your opinion it's so special? Um, I think it's because like first of all, I think the music is good. <laughs> but then second of all, it's the I think it's like authenticity and then, like I don't give a fuck and it's not like like everyone else like especially with DJs is also formal on social media and not like. Where I'm all about the party and all about, I don't know, I feel you guys are kind of the same way. Yeah, Just like yeah. the not giving a fuck yeah, yeah. that people are like, trying to Because when you go on social media or you want to go to something that feels like it's authentic and no rules kind of thing. Exactly. So I can guarantee you if we party, we're going to have a good time. For sure. <laughs> what What's the goal in terms of like obviously doing clubs and all that, but people sign residencies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. is that like what you want at the end of the day is to have a residency or you want So that's not the goal for me for, for me is throwing my own parties. Cause I've been like because like I just did like a huge party out in like outside of Nashville and like in the middle of these caves, which is fucking nuts. I saw that. And Talk so, about that. Yeah, a few thousand people came out to that. It's what do you mean in, in the middle of a cave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like two hours outside of Nashville. And we had like a like you can bring RVs and like camping and shit. And um we just like sent it for two days straight in there. 
And it's so, just a cave? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but it's like a, it's like a dope cave that like you can actually like explore and stuff. And we add like a bunch of lights and lasers and stuff like that. And you so, set this whole thing up? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, with, with like my team and stuff. So and you guys just sell tickets? Yep. That's fucking cool, bro. <laughs> so that's like a thing I saw. I saw you said you're like an outdoors guy. Like yeah, you want to exactly. go for those. Yeah, you're trying to create parties in like the middle of nowhere. Exactly. Yeah. So we got like Tulum in January coming up. I mean, I want to do shit like even like bum fuck like Idaho or something. I don't go fuck like where it's yeah. just like a giant open land and then we set up a huge stage, have like drink tents and all of that. And yeah, I'm trying to do my own festivals and stuff. Yeah, fuck bro. I feel like you get the fans or people that attend those, you gotta be a little yeah like you gotta be ready to let yourself go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the like the hard the hardcore summit fans are like crazy in the best possible way. Like with Burning Man and stuff. Exactly. So I, I did Burning Man last year and that was like my huge inspiration. I'm gonna do that. What every the fuck's year. that like? It's insane. I what mean, I, I highly recommend it. It, it will kind yeah, of. Yeah, we want to do mind. a video there, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's worth it. I'm boys with Gordo. Oh, okay, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was out there. He did like 15 sets. Yeah, he's been telling me like you got to do. Yeah, burning, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Do but burning. you would be surprised. Like I thought it was just gonna be like, like a bunch of randos I've never met in my life. It's like I knew like half the people there. I felt like. Are you at Tomorrowland too, or no? Uh, I did Tomorrowland last year. Okay. Yeah. So I've, I've done it all. I've done Coachella, Tomorrowland. Bonnaroo, Lollapalooza. Lollapalooza is the first festival I ever went to because I'm from Chicago. But um, but yeah, and then the nice thing about residency though is that like it's like easy, it just and it's good money, obviously. Yeah. But that's not I don't want to say like that's like the selling out version, but it's like I was gonna say, does that does that not kind of cap you on doing other things? Exactly, like exactly. So like I got you know offers to do like 40 shows in Vegas, but right now I'm just doing 10 shows a year. Mm-hmm. Cause that's easy. Yeah. But in Vegas. Yeah, or, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I'm not trying to. I don't know, I don't know what you guys Saturate. think of Vegas, but when I'm in Vegas, I play one set and I'm like, I need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's a quick turnaround that city. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I do love it though. It's fun. it is fun. Yeah. Do you what's have, What's the business like of, like running your own festivals? Like, how did you get into that? Who'd you partner with? And like, um, so usually we'll partner with a local promoter there, and then it's like all my team. That like kind of does like help does the production and everything, but then you don't have to outsource a lot of people to help build the stage and all that shit. So it is a fuck ton of work. Like, yeah. Because even though I do like party a lot and stuff, it's I I have to spend like twelve hours a day and shit on it. So there's no time for hangovers. That's which, what I mean. Yeah. So like, does your team do the production or do you guys like? So we'll work with like the local because you have to work with the local vendors and yeah. stuff. Because I don't have like a bus tour, so I'm not traveling around. With, right. Huge things, of, yeah, yeah. Which that's what was nice about the cave is the cave was already there, so we just had to go in, add a bunch of lights, so that worked out pretty well. Do you have a favorite all time set that you've ever done? Uh, just this past month, I did Red Rocks. If you heard of it, bro, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You from Denver? Yeah, I used to go oh, up all the time. Oh, like okay, shit. Yeah, when yeah, we were yeah. in high school, you go up there like a Vici, yeah, 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 yeah. bass nectar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I used to be a big bass nectar fan actually. Apparently, he uh like like his last set there in like 2014, like the rock started to crumble and shit like that. And when? I think it was like the last time he played there, like it was 2015 or some shit like that. Yeah. So uh. Which is kind of cool. I don't know if you, have you heard of this venue before. Yeah, he, I, I, saw, don't, I, I don't think you could okay. handle it there, bro. What red red rocks? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Because it's a lot of that's a creature. That's like space. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so it's sick though, bro. And like like all types of artists play there. But that that was you t- bought tickets for your whole high school class and shit. Hey, eh? you're like I got this. It's on my it's on <laughs> dad's credit card. I got uh-huh. VIP for everyone. It's a uh, it's like uh, <laughs> it's ten thousand people though. It was like full on storing my entire set and no one left. So then. And my whole like it was Mother's Day, so my mom was there. Took her on stage. It was, it was a how whole, long ago was this? This was this was last month. Oh my god! What do you, what do your parents think about like everything you're doing? Oh, now? they fucking love it. They love it. Like they went from like, what the hell are you doing? Why did you quit your job? So I didn't, you know, talk to them for a couple months while I was doing this, and then it started like, and then 2020 happened, and so I lived at home for a little bit, and then they actually saw all the work and stuff that went behind it, you know, because at first they think you're just fucking around, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um and now they're my biggest fans. Like they go to Red Rocks. Like my parents will go out to the clubs in Chicago when I'm not even there, and get a table and shit. What, what was that combo like of like telling them you're gonna quit your job? Uh, it was a tough combo, but I mean I already lived on my own at that point, and I was already you know accountant, so I can kind of just do whatever I want. So they trust me, but uh yeah, you know 
I mean, if I had a kid and he told me he was going to be a DJ, I'd be like, what of course. the fuck are you it's doing? It's probably bro? the worst thing you could tell your parents, in all <laughs> yeah. honesty. Like anything else, even. Now, like a YouTuber might, it's no, like a DJ. No, they're no, like, what yeah. the fuck? They'd, they'd rather have me have like an OnlyFans or some shit than yeah, be a DJ. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but uh, no, it, it, it obviously worked out all right. That's dope. Yeah. What what's has it changed? Like, were you pulling the way you were when you were a CPA, like you do now? <laughs> Probably not, right? Uh, when, when I was a CPA, I had a, I had a girlfriend and stuff. So, uh, and then as as soon as uh, that you know went full time DJ, I'm like, that's not working out. <laughs> It'd be it's pretty impossible to have a relationship with what you do. No, it's impossible. Do you it's think impossible. it is impossible? I I truly think it's impossible. I mean, every I mean. I can't really say too much, but I, I know I would not trust any DJ to be honest. Uh, but uh, yeah, life hasn't treated me well or bad in that regard, so yeah, I'm not complaining. What it, the life? <laughs> yeah, no. Well, you have a fucking you have a big movement with chicks too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah, yeah. I fucking when I followed you, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> ten girls I'm following, they're like like you're liking your photos. Some of them I'm like really? his main chick too. So he's like, oh really? No, yeah. it wasn't I'm a sorry. main. It was like it was like some girl I was like talking to in Miami. I saw like she's like liking your photos and shit. I'm like, you're what, like, the, God fu- damn what it. the fuck's going on here? Yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. But what what is that like? Because you're like. You have a lot of chicks yeah, like, yeah, yeah. in the booth and stuff like no, that. No, no. I mean, we have it, it a little different too, me and you than yeah, you yeah, guys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, well, yeah, it's it's fun, man. It's fun, you know. You got area codes. There's girls in every city that I'm friends with. And uh, I mean, everyone's trying to have a good time, right? And I like to think I'm a good time when I, when I play and stuff. So, yeah. It's what, what do you do? Because that lifestyle does take a toll on your body. Yeah. Like, do you stay healthy or like are you in the gym and like uh, i try to I, I go to the gym like for 15 minutes twice a week and uh, 15 think, in and out yeah, that's in, and out, in and out i do my pull-ups do my push-ups maybe a couple squats damn yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah but i'm also like when i dj i guess uh i'm moving a lot i'm doing like fifty thousand steps a set yeah but well, you're so, up there dancing you feel yeah, like you got to perform if you see me not dancing something's wrong because I'm jumping up and down and everything. When you're about to go on, are you like, do you get nervous still or are you good at this point? Yeah, I, I do get nervous for every set. Just because, okay. well, I don't know if it's nervous. Because obviously, I mean, you guys have some like really big podcasts. Do you get like for the like, really big ones? Sure, are you yeah. pretty nervous and Definitely. stuff? Like before we did Trump. Yeah, I kind of fucking imagine. Like Steve was there too. I think we probably shotgunned like... <laughs> I'm not even lying. Probably like six happy dads. Yeah. I was probably eight deep on the he Trump was, interview. He was yeah, yeah. two hours late. So yeah. it oh, builds up. So then it, you get more so and more you're, nervous. You're like pacing back and forth yeah, and everything. Yeah, like another, another, yeah, another. Yeah. You'd shotgun six drinks. Don't you have to pee during? Uh, oh, all? yeah. Oh, well, we, we probably pissed like 10 times before that. <laughs> Secret but, Service was getting pissed because they had yeah. to take us every time to all make right. sure. Yeah, yeah. They thought we were like trying yeah, to sneak yeah, in yeah. bombs or something at that point. We're just making runs in and out. That, like, that's why right when I get on stage and it's like a thing now and people think it's like… Like I do this like on, I don't know on purpose or whatever, but right when I get on stage, I I do like a huge chug of tequila every time. Yeah, every time. But that's always just to get the nerves and shit like that, just because you have to. They expect a big performance every time. You can't just get up on ducks and you know. So yeah. that's your go-to is tequila. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because it's an upper. Yeah, it's what? like the only it's only uh, alcohol that's like a non-depressant. Apparently, don't quote me on this. I don't know shit, but I don't. Yeah, it keeps it keeps me awake. Good. What's well, so did you so do you have a pre-ritual every time? Before that, uh, I'm like kind of meditating in the green room. I'm like people think I do like big pre games and stuff, but quick smash but, and then you go out. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not for beforehand. <laughs> beforehand is just me. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, and I'm always working on music and like because I every single set I do is completely different. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. And, I, and I'm very big on that because I'll go to Vegas and I'll see some DJ, you know, who is big in 2012 and it's 2023 and they're still doing the same exact set like 10 years ago so i'm like are they just pressing play on a recorded set or something or do any, do any of the og guys kind of hate on you uh you don't have to maybe, call them out maybe, maybe, maybe behind my back or something but i'm i'm friends with like almost all of the djs and stuff now especially all the vegas djs and everything yeah so i'm friends with all those guys is there any competitiveness in the space Oh, it's it's ultra competitive. In person, everyone's very nice and stuff like this. But I would say it's the most competitive because then you have the residencies and stuff too, and there's only X amount of them, right? Right. So, um, but there's no like, there's no like backstabbing and shit. It's not like hip hop where like I I've never heard a DJ diss track. We I don't need think. some DJ. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> DJs aren't like shooting each other and shit. Like no, that, right? no, yeah, not yet. Snitching on <laughs> Maybe each other. Maybe swooping girls though. Yeah, yeah. You could yes. start there. 
If I had a girlfriend, I wouldn't trust her around any DJ, that's for sure. <laughs> People always, like, do ask, like, yeah. how much are you really doing up there with, like, the yeah, knobs? Yeah, I think I'm doing a decent amount. Like, sometimes when you're with the knobs, like, a lot of it is, like, unnecessary. Just, like, taking bass out and adding some reverb and shit like that. But Is there, like, a little bit less pressure? Like, can you have, like, a bad performance? If- yeah, I have bad performances all the time. But the thing is, like, but as, is that based on energy or like something you're fucking up? Oh, I can't think of the last time I've like really fucked up. But it's just it's just tough reading the crowd and stuff. So like when I played EDC, that was a hundred thousand people. That was last month, and it was like half the crowd likes dubstep, half the crowd likes house. And so I tried doing a little bit of everything, and I couldn't tell like how that was going, just because you know I don't plan my sets at all. So I just go up there and. It's Damn, like, dude. Yeah, it's a, it's, is that how most people do it? Or they play? no, no. Most people have shit like kind of pre-planned and everything. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. But then like it's boring though, right? Because I have fans that have like they've seen me like forty times this year already. Mm-hmm. So if I do the same set forty times, they'd be like, "This is boring as hell." Yeah, that, when you say that people been doing the same thing from twenty thirteen. Yeah, like, yeah. It's not. I don't understand how that's possible. I haven't you gone they to Vegas? Just get lazy. Yeah, yeah. Right? But have you gone to Vegas and you know, like I've been hearing this track on the radio for like ever, or whatever. So yeah. yeah, it's getting lazy, and they they know what works. So are you drinking every single set that you're doing? Uh, unfor- yeah, yeah. You've never done a sober set. I've tried. No, I I did it once in like Cancun. Because it was like an hour set and it was like a show. Because normally all my sets are like 21 plus. In Cancun, I was like 18 plus and it was a bunch of like… So I'm like, all right, I'm not drinking around these kids right it's now. It's impressive though. Yeah, yeah, how yeah, many yeah. How many like shots per set you think you're doing? Uh, so if I'm drinking… Ni- 1942 is my go my go to, uh-huh. and so it's, of it's probably like. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna say some some shitty stuff on here either. No, 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 no. I do want to switch it up though. So if you guys have any tequila recommendations, Class A is cool. Caught, yeah, but the bottle's too heavy. I feel like I'm like drinking out of like a flower vase. Yeah, when I'm drinking that. But um, I probably do like half the bottle of set. <laughs> Holy shit! But I don't I don't really get hangovers or anything. You, so, so once once your set's done, do you have like? Uh, you probably have a crew that you always roll with. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's yeah. always an AP. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and how do you get on that like invite list or who? You so don't, do you like, do you we, like guys we, in? so yeah, yeah, I like guys, but it has to be guys I know. Like I'm not like one of those DJs that like I know some of them that like has, it's like them and like 50 girls afterwards because it's fucking boring. It's like you need people to entertain people. You can't have stuff. too many chicks. No, no, it, it's like a burden though too because yeah. I feel like I'm like walking around like a you salesman trying to entertain shit, yeah. everybody. Um, Do you collect phones before they get in the room? No, 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 no. I'm not, not photos, I'm not, I'm not, the, I'm not at the level where it's NDAs and shit. No, but that's a lot of photos, probably. <laughs> it is a lot of photos, but I, I like getting photographed. <laughs> yeah, damn. There's nothing. We're never doing anything that bad. It's just that. a lot of work to collect phones. And it, shit, is, you know? it is. Like, it is. It is. It is. We tried it, it like once or twice. Now it's just yeah. like, I feel like if you, if, if you like, have like, <laughs> really, if you get a video, you get a video. <laughs> exactly. Like, we're, exactly. We're fucked, like, it's like. I mean, if you guys too. Like, you're we're used to being on video and shit like that. Too. It depends like, where you are too. Like, if you're at a crib like this, yeah. the girls will fucking hand over their phone. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, if they yeah. pull up gated, but like yeah, sometimes yeah. like we'll have like shitty rooms in New York, and oh, they're, yeah, they're just yeah. like, uh, no, nah, I'm not giving up my phone here. And yeah, shit. Like, yeah, no, yeah, for here, they they're like, I'd rather dip. You have a you have an AP every single time. You yeah, kind of have to at that point. Kind of right? have to. Yeah, Fuck. yeah. So for the night shows, if I play to like six a.m., then it's like no, but. Because I'm playing Vegas tomorrow. It's three to five. And then I have this giant suite at the Venetian. It's like, I'm not going to just sit there and by myself. Right. And do nothing. Right. <laughs> how, how often are you focused on, like, you're doing, making your own music? So I do that, try to do that at least two hours a day. And then on, like, on days off, it's pretty much six to eight hours. And so how- I'm very, I'm very, very disciplined about my time off. Like, there really is no time off and like so i don't watch netflix or anything how do you determine what track is good enough to put out there like do you have your friends listen to it first so the, like the labels i work with um so i just like signed this like deal with interscope nice here in la and then so they have like a big a and r team and then um and then it's just i, I play the new songs every set yeah so, what, what's your process with like producing a track uh, so I, I work with singers. So I do all laptop and headphones. So I, I work. So I I don't like going in studios whatsoever. So like the like the singers I work with, the girl I'm working with now is from London, or Tor- and this girl from Toronto too. And um, it's all like Zoom calls. And then from there, I've been making beats on my laptop for fucking years. What do you use to produce? 
uh, Ableton, if you've heard of it. Yeah. yeah. Is Fruit Loop still a thing? Fruit Loop's still a thing. I feel like that's like a bigger thing in hip hop. Oh, okay. It's like hip hop and like Brazilian kids use it. Yeah. I don't know why that is. And then, <laughs> and then Logic is all like Europeans. But uh, yeah, so like I like during 2020, I did like Ableton classes and I would teach classes like 10 hours a week. And you can see I have YouTube videos, how to make tech house and shit like that. So uh, that is my like bread and butter is producing. So when you're working with like the the singers you said, like are you sending them beats and they're writing over it? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then well then they send me a lot of vocal ideas and it's a lot of back and forth and writing lyrics. And then you try to get like a bigger artist on that. No, no. So I I I primarily work with small artists because big artists are divas and they never have time. Right. So like I mean it would be cool to work with like a dual leap or whatever, but it's like they have one hour of free time every three months where the the people I work with now are pretty much free twenty four seven. So when it's like 5 a.m. in Ibiza, I can give them a call and they're up and ready to go. Do you have someone like that, that you like a Dua Lipa type that you really want to get on a track? Dua Lipa would be cool. She was she was backstage at a club I was at a few weeks ago. And I didn't have the balls to say hi. I had to say hi at that time. I know, I fucked up. You didn't try to, you didn't even go say hi? <laughs> well, it's like a little wave, yeah, but yeah. not like, well, it's because my biggest pet peeve is when I'm out is when someone goes like, like, you know, yo, John, let's work and work on a track together. Oh, yeah, and I'm yeah. like, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm sure. You could have just planted the seed and been like, yo, what's up, John? I know, I know. Yeah, the next day I was like, God damn it. Worst thing that happens. Those is- chicks, those. Those chicks are intimidating though. Like no, the it boss, is. The it boss is. chicks are like, fuck. Yeah, especially if like you're well, trying I mean, to work I'll with them it. too. Cause huh? I'll approach it. <laughs> you haven't been <laughs> where, where is that God? <laughs> you haven't been rejected enough. Man? That's why. You're not yeah, used to rejection. Exactly. Yeah. Once uh, you've had it a lot, you just say, fuck it. Yeah. I think I need you as my wingman then. Shit. <laughs> I'll, dude, I'll do that any day. <laughs> <laughs> what like, what's your top three places in the world for hottest chicks? For hottest chicks? Uh... Well, Miami's number one, man. I would, I agree. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, well, I just uh, like all cultures and I uh, like Latina girls a lot. And, Me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the best, bro. I like bilingual people, even though I always speak as English and like como estas. That's all I know. Well, d- but uh, outside yeah. of that, um, I guess New York and Ibiza. Because New York is fine. I haven't done Ibiza York, yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, you haven't done a visa no, yet? No, I really need to do that. Uh, no, it's it's fun. It's fun. I mean, just because everyone from all over the world goes there. So it's like a more, I consider it a more adult version of Vegas, where it's kind of like an older crowd that, and the music's more mature. Because Vegas, to me, is like all like bachelor, bachelorette parties, like woo girls. You know, I don't like, want to throw shade at Vegas, but I feel like it's like not as, not what it used to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not. Yeah, it's yeah, hit yeah. or miss. But I actually feel like it's heating up a little bit. No, again. it is. It is. It is. And, I, and like my parties, I think, and my, obviously I'm clearly biased, but they're getting really fucking lit in Vegas and stuff. But when I just go on like a random night versus like Ibiza, there's just so much going on every night. What, what are some of the differences you notice when performing in the States and then like Europe? Uh, States is, I mean, it's a rowdier crowd. I feel like, well, I guess it depends though. Europe's also different because, I mean, we just, we have just so many genres of music and stuff in the States and like obviously hip hop and everything's really big. Yeah. Um, but then Europe is just like, yeah, just much a more mature, mature crowd. At least. More respectful. Yeah, yeah. Probably yeah, less yeah, cocaine yeah. in Europe too. There's What's probably, up? probably less cocaine in yeah, Europe. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like cocaine's not like a thing anymore, though. No. Yeah, everyone at least like it's I still a th- it's still a thing, but like I don't know. I don't know. That. Like I feel like <laughs> I, don't know why I, mean. I don't know why Sammy had to come to this one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, no. There, it's like obviously a visa is a big. Big pill place, you know. You know that Mike Posner track. I took a pill in a visa, you know. Uh-huh. It's crazy. Yeah. That fucking song's still banger. That like made his career pretty much. No, I know, but I think that's like the only song he really ever did, right? Yeah. Cause I think he like tra- like started walking across the country afterwards. I don't know if you saw all that. It's- no, he went. He, he, went, he, like, he, he like walked to like California to New York. I think that pill really fucked him up. Holy shit, yeah. bro! Maybe don't take the pill. And <laughs> I don't know. I recommend it. Yeah, I'll what have you, to try that. Yeah. What do you think about like how like a lot of other genres of artists are trying to like kind of get into dance and like that type of stuff? Like Drake. I mean, album. Beyonce was the one that won Dance Album of the Year. So because her huge track "Break My Soul" is a house track. Um. I love it. They've they've like asked me to like produce tracks, like not those two people specifically, but like to produce dance tracks and stuff. And I think 
anything that makes the genre bigger is better. The only downside is that you get a lot of people into the genre that like don't really know dance music and stuff, so the crowds can get a little weird. Mm. But uh, Drake, Drake is legit though. Like he goes out in Ibiza and stuff. All, he's in Mykonos all the time. I see him at underground parties and shit. So I, I have respect for him in that. Yeah, that's wanna, crazy. It feels like rap slowly a little bit kind of dying at times. Yeah, but. it's like, well, it's always going to be relevant on radio and stuff like that. I mean, I'm so out of the loop, though, when it comes to rap. Like, I can't think of the last, like, hip-hop party or anything. I've it's just, to. I can't think of the last album that, like, I bumped for, like, a long-ass time. No, like, rap. I was just talking about that with my friends and managers. Is that, like, I don't know. Is it just because we're <laughs> older and then, like, most of the rap you listen to is in high school? Because when I think of, like, rap, I think of, you know, like, Kid Cudi back in the day, all the old Kanye shit. Uh-huh. And, uh, but yeah, there's nothing, like, I never was into the SoundCloud rap era. And then after that. I think it's just changing too a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, with yeah. social media, I feel like it's gotten a little softer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's, all, I mean? it's all like the kind of the lame TikTok hit like, shit. Yeah, it's like they're just trying to get hits. It's like yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because these labels, I had to make sure when I signed a big label deal, I'm like, you never mentioned the word TikTok once to me because apparently these people like sign these big major label deals and it's like, they're, that's their goal is like, fuck a three minute song. We need a 15 second TikTok clip that can get it. So what I, is that? I, that just gives you exposure, but it's like at the end no, of the day. No, but like the thing is like the amount of people, like songs I know that are viral on TikTok, I don't even know the artist or anything. Yeah. So then they play shows and they sell 50 tickets, but they have 50 million stream, yeah. like monthly listeners on Spotify. We, so. we did a podcast probably like four months with Metro Boomin. Mm-hmm. And he said that he'll have artists come into the studio that like only want to get that TikTok. Band yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah they want I, don't, I won't even book. work with them. No, yeah, no, because it doesn't make any sense. It's just stupid. No, it's stupid. But it stupid. has, it's made a lot of, like, I've seen a couple DJs that have blown up from it. Yeah, DJs can, but, yeah, I feel like, yeah, for rappers and stuff, they, it's then, a little I don't know, D- DJs is different, though, because there's some people that have, like, 50,000 monthly listeners, which is, like, nothing, and then they're selling out huge parties. How many monthly monthly listeners are you at at this point, do you know? It's at, like, 7 million right now. Nice. Good which for is, you. Yeah, which it's good for dance music, for sure. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you think is, like, who's one of your closest DJ friends? Closest DJ? So, if you know who Dom Doll is. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's the homie. And we're doing, like, we're, we're like, starting, like, this duo thing. And we're calling the parties, like, everywhere, everything always. And it's going to be, we're just, we're doing parties, like, all over, like, Seattle. Doing for Electric Zoo in New York, if you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. And, um... And he's like pretty similar when it comes to like taste and style, but so different than me. So, yeah. Is there like a respect for like the OGs like Daft Punk and Dead Mouse? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So my next, uh, my next remix that comes out in like a week and a half is "I Remember Dead Mouse" and Cascade, which is like the song that got me into dance music. Nice, yeah. So it's like the very first electronic song I fell in love with. So, uh, so yeah, I'm remixing. And, and then me and Cascade are headlining Hard Summer together. What do you think so, about wearing the masks? <laughs> Shit, I, I think that shit's like, corny as fuck. It's corny, but like yeah. I feel like there's a th- well, like marshmallow and shit. But it's like yeah. a thought, like yo, if I wear an outfit, kind of runs out too. It's like bro, no, it, it's a it's a gimmick, bro. Got to put on the costume every day and shit. Like, no, it did, it did help him make it bigger. But I think everyone can see through it now and knows it's a gimmick. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like marshmallows got to wake up like. A lot and just be like, fuck, I don't want to put <laughs> that fucking smelly ass helmet yeah, back on. Bro. It smells like shit one day. And I don't shit. know, bro. Like, you could, if you like offer me a billion dollars, but I had a DJ the rest of my life with a helmet on, I would say fuck off. Like, like legitimately though, like, cause it just. The girls well, want you to put the mask on when you well, wait. Yeah, 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 the, the, the helmet like, stays you put on. It on. I think you're missing the point though. Like, like you're also like, you're, they might not be good looking people. Yeah, yeah. They might be uh, hiding that, something. That's true. That's true. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, if they don't know what he looks like, he's still pulling the same girls, but if his mask was off, it might not be the same. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, I, know, so- I know a lot of DJs that could use a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a terrible idea. All right, this is kind of old. I'm going to ask you, but yeah. uh, did you see that quote by Diplo? Uh, uh, the one that he's the, like, a no eye contact thing? Yeah. Uh, is that, like, from partying and too many DJ sets, or what's your take what? on that? Wait, 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 wait. What, 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 was, what was the quote again? He was like, no, nah. he said, I'm not gay. I do get head from guys. I just don't make eye contact. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so I know what you're talking You've about. You've been obsessed with that quote since it came out. I feel like it, it, it's, it's a little a, bizarre. You it's relate a, to it's that a, one. It's, no, it's a hell of a quote, man. Yeah. 
I don't know. I feel like De- Depo's been in the game so long and then… He's just trying you know, new you things. You know, and he, he… I'm sure like every girl you in, in LA, you know, knows Diplo. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sure probably a couple of dudes have somehow slipped under the radar. And he's just like, I'm, I've been bored of these chicks. Fuck it. I'll yeah, them yeah, else. yeah. I think I think it's a case that, you know, it's like you saw this so many girls. If you're then, partying like that, yeah. You yeah, act, yeah. You're bound yeah. to accidentally get head from a guy at once. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. It's just it a numbers approach, sense. right? Yeah. And <laughs> if you don't make eye contact, yeah, you're chilling. Yeah, you know, it's… You know, the yeah. lights are off. The guy could have pretty long hair. I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But yeah, I, I can't say the same thing. So I can't. He's I been can't. in the game for a long time. Exactly. So. I know. When yeah. I, by the you'll time get, I'm 45, who fuck knows? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe in 10 years, you'll be like, yeah. Diplo has a point. Yeah. Yeah. Our follow up, follow up podcast in 10 years. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How about like outside music, like business? Like how do you your social media content and stuff mm-hmm. too? Because you're pretty big on like social media. Yeah. 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 Do you try to. Have do you have any strategy with that, or are you kind of just having fun with it? So it is just having fun with it. Um, my favorite is Twitter, just because I can just tweet a thought that comes to my head and go like. But when it comes to like TikTok and like Instagram, it is tough though, because like you know, it's like instead of making a song, I'll spend six hours in a day making a fucking TikTok or whatever. But what does help though is that because my shows are so crazy and stuff, and then I have videographers and stuff. They can do all that for me. Do you have anyone like sending you ideas for that type of shit or like putting shit together for you? Or Sometimes. That just- That's why like I have like a team and managers and stuff yeah. like that. And um, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing you guys are kind of the same way too because the pressure is always on though because I have to always be making content all the time while also making music while also traveling, touring every day. And then I'm still partying in between, which is… Partying is just to let off the steam and stuff too because… um. I don't know. Do you guys kind of feel the same way too? Or just the pressure to make like… It's oh, just, always. It, yeah. Because yeah. the, the hangovers is not what gets me. It's the anxiety. Because it's like when I wake up after two days in a row and I'm like, fuck, I haven't posted anything yet. Yeah, for sure. And um, But then it sucks like even for you too. Yeah. Like we said earlier, it's like sometimes like if we're like, oh, okay, we got to take a little break from drinking. But yeah, then, yeah. then when we like drink, we just get content. Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like fucked. It's like yeah, exactly. I don't want to yeah, say it's yeah, beneficial, yeah. but it's like fuck. Like, no, it is. Well, especially and just like even when you just want to go home and chill, it's like you're not getting content when you're just sitting home watching Netflix or whatever. Not, you know yeah. what I mean? So uh, then you know I try to brainstorm everything, but yeah, it just uh, it's like you know in an ideal world I would just only just release music and that's it. But I do the way the way I get through it though is that like I think like when you do make fun content it is fucking fun. And do then, you ever rip like sauna or like the cold tub or something after like a night of drinking? No, I, I should. You should. Do you try recommend it? it? That's, do you what, have that's it? what we've been doing. Yeah. What yeah, do you do? yeah, yeah, yeah. It helps. What do you do for your anxiety or your hangover? You just battle it. I just battle it. Yeah. Just Shut the blinds it. and yeah. watch a movie or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Postmates. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's all. I haven't cooked a meal in like three years. So. Yeah, yeah, me neither. <laughs> have you ever had like a really bad hangover? Like his, like after a big night. Yeah. He'll like we call it curtains closed. He just really? closes yeah. curtains and stays in the room it's a scary all day. <laughs> yeah. You ever been yeah, through so that? You don't want to go out into Miami with me then? Yeah, I do. hundred percent. Oh yeah. The, right, the right. curtains will stay open with that offer, but I'll be good. <laughs> okay. Dope, dope, yeah. dope. Yeah. yeah, right. Bro. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we got to make that happen. Steiny after space. Yeah. <laughs> space yeah and you, well, then what's the worst is you come back home and it's like noon. So it's as bright as fuck. But um, I don't know. A couple of Advil goes a long way. Yeah. Nice, nice airport beer helps. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a big airport beer guy. Oh, big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I now I get there so late. But <laughs> airport beers are jokes. Yeah. <laughs> it makes the flight way better. It makes it way better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to get. Have you ever seen the express massages? Oh my god, at the airport. Have you never seen those? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I trust like an airport masseuse though. Well, you have to do it in front of everybody. It kind of sucks. Yeah. Like, you get a fire shoulder. Well, up yeah, because so, yeah, someone will come up to me because I, I now I have to take selfies all the time at airports, and they'll be like, "Well, I'm getting a massage." Oh, I guess, oh, yeah, but you I guess your head is down though, right? So they yeah. can't see you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's, uh, I can maybe try that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> maybe we'll take that part out actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. No, and then, you know, I can have a couple of drinks in the fights and stuff. So It's, you- it's going to be hard to believe you have an answer for this, but is there anything you miss about your life before all this? Um, yeah. I, I, I miss uh, free time. And… Um, that's pretty much the only thing, right? But then too much free time, you go crazy. So like if I even have like just a day off, I, I get like anxiety because I feel like I always got to be doing something. Yeah. So, so you keep busy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the only, the only thing that sucks though is the travel. Because 
I don't know, are you guys traveling a lot right oh, now yeah. too? A lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's all balance. Like it's balanced. But then when you have like while, the four, yeah, because you had like what, a four a.m. flight today. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. Last night or nine thirty p.m. last night. Oh, okay. So okay. We that's land not, here that's at like bad. one a.m. and then drive back. Yeah. 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 But yeah, yeah. We will do ones like that. Because yeah, like Vegas, I play my party tomorrow three to five, and then my flight's at eleven. So then I'm going to get on the... T- to where? Toronto? or To Toronto. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Because there's no direct flight. Right. And um, so, yeah, that's the shit that kind of sucks. But what about... has there? Have you ever had to, like, cancel shows? No. I've only... I've, that, I'm very proud about myself is that I've never missed a show. Well, I had to cancel one show because the plane couldn't land because there's a hurricane going on. Mm-hmm. That's not like canceling a show. It's Yeah. You know, that was out of fuck. your control. Exactly, exactly. So I am proud about myself. About yeah, that's that. a huge thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Worst, worst case, I don't care if I have to get carried on stage. I'm, I'm showing up. Fuck yeah, bro. Good for you. <laughs> Where are you at? Like after this, like what's your next few weeks or months like? So Vegas, then Toronto. Yeah, Vegas. Or is it Toronto? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, Vegas, Toronto, Chicago, Atlantic City, and then Ibiza the next day. And that's all in how many days? That's in four days four or five days um so that once i get to that's gonna be rough but the the, the flights to europe though is nice though because you get the nice life yeah flat the life flat yeah, yeah, yeah and then what's after ibiza after ibiza i'm doing croatia love croatia I'm, bro oh, i'm doing what's that fucking place called sorry i mean cut you off no, no worries Rock DM or whatever. That's where I'm playing, bro. I fucking Carpe love DM that place. Way, there? Fucking love that place. Yeah, you wait, take is, a boat is it, there. Is it on like an island? Havar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, I, I it's it's a fucking vibe. Okay, it is yeah. cool. Croatia's yeah. a hidden gem. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. yeah. Dope. Everyone says like Croatia's like the new Ibiza. It's becoming that kind of thing. I, I love it. That was a, yeah, 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 my yeah. favorite trip we've ever done. Yeah, really. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Wow, when is that? Well, give me some recommendations then, because that's the only place you need to go, bro. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we went there fucking three nights in a row. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Do you have like a hotel out there? or yeah, we had a hotel. I don't remember right? what it was called, but yeah. We we went there on like two days notice. It oh, okay. Was, and it was yacht week there. I do that literally next week. That's dope. Yeah, yeah. That's my first time playing that. And then um, I'm doing Germany. I'm doing like an eight hour set in London at this like old like theater where it's like, you know what I'm talking about, where they have like the boots up top and stuff mm-hmm. like, like a really old classic theater. So yeah, that'll be cool. And are you all alone for that? Like you travel all alone? No, so I'm alone right now, but normally I have a tour manager with me. And then for like my big shows, I'll have a tour manager assistant, lighting guy, visuals, my managers. So I'll travel like 10 deep. Okay. And then, oh, obviously my content guys and stuff. So I have them too. Okay. You talked about per- like performing in the caves. Yeah. Do you have any crazy scenario where you'd want to have like a festival, like random spot like that? Um, so we try and do some shit like in front of the pyramids would be really cool. That'd be Egypt, fucking which, insane. Because they can't, they do allow shows there. Because Carl Cox, if you know him, um, he did a show out there. I was like, I did not know that was fucking possible. So I want to do that. How is that possible? I have no idea. <laughs> I guess you have to hit up the local uh, Egyptians. I don't Bro, know. Yeah, I would go to How can you miss that? <laughs> yeah, too? yeah. Well, it's because like… Uh, <laughs> They, a lot, a lot of those of people that live out there, like a lot of people live out in Cairo and stuff, they're like really big in the Biza scene and stuff like that. And they got a lot of money. So I think they just got blasted at the pyramids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be yeah, fucking yeah. crazy, bro. <laughs> and then because my name's Summit, and then my label's called Off the Grid. I'm like, I love mountains and skiing my whole life. I want to do like, like a rave up in the mountains, like in the Alps or some shit. That'd be sick. So, yeah, yeah. So everyone's wearing, you know, coats and shit. Like, kind of like, have you seen like they do parties for the X Games in Aspen? Yeah, yeah. belly up, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I played there a few times. Really? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Fuck like, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's small. It's like a 200, 300 person club. That, yeah, yeah I, but that, it's sick. I saw Bass Hunter there one time. No way. Yeah. Oh, so were you at Bass Head back in the day too? <laughs> uh, fucking same as my boss right here, but yeah. First, <laughs> my f- first time doing Ecstasy. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It no, was fucking I, life changing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, for First real. And last, but is, that was the only. That was the last time you took ecstasy. Last time, yeah. Why is that? It's a little intense for me, bro. It is. Well, well you just you take like a half of one next time. Bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> next time I do it, I'll do it with you. We'll okay, fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you the ropes. <laughs> but yeah, it's a fun time up there. Yeah, no, it's 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 sick. It's sick. The Denver scene and stuff is crazy in general, or the Colorado. It's scene. EDM and yeah. all that is so big there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who else is uh, was super big there is Skrillex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have right, a relationship with him everywhere, though. But I mean, yeah. like he would he would perform there very frequently. Oh yeah, yeah at yeah, Red yeah, Rocks. Yeah. yeah, they just had some artists out too. If if you know who Lenium is, he just sold out of the course. Broncos 
arena this past weekend. He did like 55,000 tickets each night or something like that. Just him? Yeah, just him. What the fuck? Yeah, how so many people How many people does Brooklyn, Brooklyn Mirage? So that's, so that's, so I did a full take over there. So the three stages and that was 8,500 a night. And you did three nights in three a row? Three nights there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck. So bro. that that place. Have you ever have you heard of that place, Brooklyn Mirage? No, I'm pissed because we were there, I think, at the same time. I oh, for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I, I do this. I built a whole backstage, too. So we had like 500 people backstage, too. To hear that Millennium sold out Bronco Stadium, the last time I saw a concert there that was sold out was the Rolling Stones. Yeah, which is fucking insane, so right? So to think about that. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Fucking so, insane. yeah, I, that's why I think dance has become like the biggest genre right now, which is fucking nuts. Because I didn't, because I I've been doing this for years, and it was only underground parties and shit when I started. Yeah, but I guess that's how everything starts, right? Yeah, um, of course. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. Nice. So, so what, like, what's next? Like, how do you, how do you see, like, how do you see your career going? Like, where, what do you want to do with your career? Uh, I think just bigger, better shows, doing festivals, doing places all over the world, whether it's fucking, like I said, pyramids or the Alps, and then starting to collaborate with big artists and stuff too. So I think that's the move. It's but crazy, yeah, bro. The, the next is I'm taking you on a fucking bender, Let's bro. Let's fucking go, bro. Let's go right after this. <laughs> you can be I know, my what's wing fuck? Man. Are we getting into one right now? I know, yeah. fuck. I feel like I am. I feel like we could just get a house party popping like yeah. at this crib right now. I'm on my third happy dad, bro. Oh, no. and How would we do I'm that? Ready? How would we do that? Would we just like post a story or something? Oh, I, I could get I could get 100 people over here. <laughs> well, we, well, we could too, but uh, no, I'm yeah. saying you, you probably oh, have that. Oh, we can do a collab. You want 100 folks. guys or you want 100 chicks? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can help even out the ratio. Yeah, for me. I'll be yeah. the ratio guy. Fuck okay. yeah! No, this was dope, dude. Thank you for All coming right, on. Yeah. Thank you for having me. We're rooting for you, and definitely we got to come to one of your shows. Yes, please, too. 100%. please, please. I'll be late. Hell yeah! All, All right, right let's John go. Summit. Yes, sir. Let's go.